Decent. Hello, Electroheads, and welcome to the Decent. This is one of the very cheapest electric scooters that you can have right now, alongside the likes of the Bird, the Pure, and the king of budget e-scooters, the Xiaomi M365. But this budget e-scooter has a couple of special tricks up its sleeve that really set it apart from the rest, and for my money, make it the best cheap electric scooter. Let me explain. Now, for me, when it comes to cheap electric scooters, there's always two things about them that bug me, two things that really identify them as budget e-scooters, and that is speed and ride comfort. Now, let's talk about speed first. Pretty much every budget scooter, that is one that costs less than, let's say, 400 quid, is gonna be limited to 15 miles an hour. If you wanna go 20, 25, you're gonna to have to spend quite a bit more, except for this one, because the Decent claims to be a 15 mile an hour scooter, but I've seen 17, 18 on here, and I'm 100 kilos. I reckon if we put Col on it, who weighs as much as like a sort of medium-sized gerbil, we could probably get to like 20. Col, should we try this? Go for it. Let's do a speed test. You're pissed about the gerbil thing, aren't yes. you? Okay. Here we go. All right, here we go. Speed run, speed run, speed run. 11, 12, 14. Come on, 15. Come on, 16. Do I have 17? I have 17. Do I have 18? Uh, I reckon I saw 17. Yeah. Little 17 action there. Do you want to see if you can push 20? Yeah. All right. Give it a go. 17, 18. Right, I got 18 on that one. Let's do one more. I got 19. I got 19. Let's try it one more time. Nineteen. Nineteen, nineteen, nineteen. Got it. And I got something in my eye. Fly. 19, I got it, and I got it on camera. Yeah. That's almost five miles extra. Yep. Do you know what that is, Colt? What's that? It's decent. Oh, it's decent, isn't it? <laughs> Well, point proven, yes, it's a 15 mile an hour scooter, unless you're slightly downhill or don't weigh very much, in which case, 18, 19, 20, pretty impressive. But the area where this thing really blows me away for its price point is the ride comfort. Now, most budget e-scooters like the Xiaomi M365, they use airless tires because they don't get punctures, they're lower maintenance. But the problem with those is every bump, every crack comes up through the deck, through your feet, up your legs, into your spine. And as a result, you've just got to be really careful riding them. You've got to keep your knees super soft. You've got to look out for any hazards on the road ahead because any crack in the road that you miss could be your last. But with the Decent, they have opted for these big, squashy, 10-inch pneumatic tires, and they are an absolute game changer. They almost work as suspension. They just give you a little bit of give, a little bit of squish. It's not the same as having proper shock absorbers, as you'll see on higher-end scooters, but for the money, the ride on this thing is like a Rolls-Royce compared to other cheapo scooters. Now, those extra couple miles an hour of top speed, pretty impressive. The ride comfort from these big, squashy tires, very impressive. But now I need to tell you about this scooter's party piece because the Decent has a feature that I have yearned for on every e-scooter, electric skateboard, EUC that I've ever ridden at any price point. This is the first one I've seen that actually has it and it's, well, it's this. It's got a swappable battery. It's just, it's so beautiful. If you ride an EUC, an e-scooter, an electric skateboard, do you understand why I'm so excited about this? Modern battery technology, it's pretty good, but my electric skateboard's only got 10, 11 miles of range, and I want to go for rides that are further than that sometimes. This is the feature that I have been yearning to see, and it's on this budget electric scooter. Now, let me show you just how straightforward it is to swap a battery out on one of these bad boys. You're out on the road having a jolly old scoot. Oh no, low on battery. If only I could, oh wait, I can. Pop up the top, unscrew the screwy thing, remove the big boy, swap out for the fresh one, get in there, re-screw, scooter on, I'll see you later. But don't, don't leave the battery, don't leave the battery there. That's, you're gonna need that. Tell you what, another application of that swappable battery that's just occurred to me, self-defense. 
Oh, my scooter? You want my scooter, mate? Yeah, yeah. I'll give you my scooter. I'll give you my scooter! Now, let's discuss the downsides of the Decent X7 because there are one or two things that I'm not so crazy about with the scooter. The main one is the lack of any regenerative braking. I've never seen an e-scooter that doesn't have them. We've got the classic disc brake here, we've got the classic scooter brake at the back, but there's no regen brake to allow you to recharge the battery under braking. Bit of a shame. My guess is that they've omitted that feature in order to keep the price of the scooter down. Now, the knock-on effect of that is fairly underwhelming range. This is claimed to be a 15-mile range scooter. I personally have been seeing about half of that, but it's worth keeping in mind. I'm big and heavy. I ride quite quickly. And actually, range doesn't matter that much when you've got swappable batteries, baby. Well, boys and girls, that is about all there is to say. Decisively the best budget electric scooter that we've tested on this channel. With its big, squashy wheels, with its impressive speed, with its swappable batteries, it blows the likes of the Xiaomi M365 out of the water. If you're looking for a cheapo scooter that you can actually ride on the road and feel safe, get yourself one of these, lad. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. See ya.